Okay, we're going to be talking about experiment nine, proje projectile motion, the ballistic pendulum. I'm sorry you're unable to do this in the lab because this is a fun experiment that uh, we normally do every year. Uh, when I was at St. Mary's, uh, Professor Ham, uh, this is back in the early 80s, the, uh, he had permission from the San Antonio Police Department to f fire his uh, 22 rifle in the lab once a year just to conduct this uh, experiment. So he would fire his 22, um, 22 bullet into a big cylinder that had putty in it and would, you would see how far back it would go. And we would, that's how we did this experiment. Uh, we're gonna have to do it virtually, uh, but uh, you'll still learn from it. I'll, uh, you need to calculate the initial velocity, this uh, VX zero. Well, how are we gonna do that? Well, we know that the, uh, by the conservation of momentum principle, we have uh, the momentum from this bullet, the mass times the uh, velocity that it's going um, will equal the, the uh, mass times velocity uh, of the combined masses times a, some new velocity. And we know from the kinetic uh, uh, conservation of energy that the uh, one half this M plus M times this V squared will equal to the MGH. Uh, so we'll, we'll be able to, to use uh, these concepts to, to uh, uh, calculate the initial velocity. Um, so it, there's gonna be three steps to this one uh, this with the ballistic pendulum, we're going to determine the velocity from just the range fall of the horizontally fired uh, uh, bullet, cannonball, whatever the simulation is. And we're going to do some projectile uh, parabolas at different angles. We're going to look at the range at different angles. Of course, we've studied this and we know that the maximum range occurs at 45 degrees. Uh, so here's the experiment, the uh, experiment nine. Uh, uh, the, this figure is at the experimental planning stage. There's a bunch of questions here. It's not required. Uh, if you want to answer them, I'll give you extra points, but there's nine extra questions if you, if you do this uh, experimental planning portion. Uh, it, if you want to do it and get points, you're, you're welcome to do it. But we're going to start here at the advanced study assignment. So you're going to answer these questions. Uh, that there's, uh, it's with each part, the ballistic pendulum, the determination of the initial velocity of a projectile from the range fall measurements, and then the projectile range dependence on the angle of projection. So you answer these uh, eight questions in the advanced study assignment. Then we're going to do the, uh, the experiment, and this is the, uh, the experiment, and you can see here the uh, mass times the velocity, that's the uh, uh, initial momentum, is going to be the mass plus big mass uh, times the velocity, that's moment, momentum afterwards. Um, these are the actual devices that we, we use. Uh, the, uh, there's a bunch of different ones that, that we use, but uh, uh, we'll just be using a virtual, uh, a virtual uh, uh, simulation. Uh, this is how we get the velocity of the, the combined uh, masses here, the, the two GH. Um, I'm gonna give you a supplementary uh, file that, that summarizes this, but I want you to read this, this, uh, um, this experiment. Um, so uh, we start with the, let's see. Uh, okay, that's still the discussion. Uh, well, I think, let's see, let's, uh, uh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, this is the theory, the ballistic pendulum, then the theory on the determination of initial speed of a horizontal projectile from range fall measurements, and then the projectile range dependence on the angle of projection. Uh, those are the three parts. Then we get into the um, actual procedure, the ballistic pendulum, uh, the, uh, uh, 
determination of the initial velocity of a projectile from range fall measurements and dependence of projectile range on the angle of projection. Now, ordinarily, we use the same, uh, the same uh, cannon, a uh, little uh, uh, spring-loaded cannon for each of these. We, I couldn't find the, a, uh, a set of experiments that use the same uh, velocity range. So, so part of this, when you get the percent difference, uh, you can ignore that because it's going to be two different uh, velocities. Um, but then we're going to have the uh, data tables. Okay, this is the actual laboratory report. Uh, there's no notch numbers. We're probably just going to do it once. And you're going to get H2, which is the height that it reaches after um, the, the, the high point of the pendulum. Uh, H1 is the low point of the pendulum. Uh, H is uh, H2 minus, that should be H1. That's a typogra typographical error. Uh, we'll have the mass of the ball. We'll have the mass of the uh, big pendulum bob. Uh, and so you're going to come up with a computed uh, initial velocity. Okay, so, so that's going to be your, your goal is to calculate the initial velocity. And it'll be unknown. Uh, then we'll, we'll, um, where's the, uh, okay. The determination of the initial velocity from range fall measurements, the, uh, uh, we probably will only do this once. We're not going to do different trials because it's going to, since it's a virtual, uh, virtual experiment, it'll repeat the same value each time. And then we're going to vary the angle. Now the, the particular uh, FET, uh, uh, you know, the PHET, uh, we've used that in the past, the FET simulation that I'm going to use, it only goes up down to 25 degrees. So uh, we're going to, instead of the 20 and 70, we're going to have 25 and 65. Then we'll do the 30, 60, the 40, the 50, and the 45. But we can't do, uh, we can't get low, any lower than 25, uh, an angle of 25. Uh, I, I like the FET because it preserves the trace from the previous, uh, the previous, previous firing. Um, and then we're going to, uh, by plot, you're going to get the angle uh, for maximum range. But I've got, uh, we should know that it's 45 degrees. Um, and then you answer the questions at the end. Uh, so this is the... Uh, uh, the intro, I think on this particular one, I'm going to conduct the experiment since there's so many parts to it. Uh, and you can just use my data. Okay, uh, that's it for the introduction.